Thank you, moderator, Professor Milan Konekny. So, good afternoon, and good morning, and good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's really my great honor, uh, you know, being one of the first three speakers today to give a talk. Take this opportunity. I'd like to first of all congratulate on the lecture of the ISDE, uh, the launch of the international, you know, the lecture. I do hope the ISDE lecture will have a very successful, very bright future. So for me today, the title of the talk is about uh, the digital earth and SDG. People, you know that, you know, United Nations from the 2015 to 2030 have the three most important strategic framework. That means climate change, climate action, disaster risk reduction, and a very important one, SDGs. So keep this one, I want to first of all talk something about uh, SDG and TFM, Technology Facilitation Mechanism. Don't forget that just seven years ago in New York, the headquarters of the United Nations, 193 countries around the world adopted the 2030 Agenda for SDG, which includes 17 goals and uh, more than 100 sub-goals. It's a great, uh, uh, you know, agenda. As uh, means we will have a very bright future, but we're facing the challenge. What kind of challenge? We need the methodology. We need the data. So lack of the data become a more and more, you know, serious challenge. Why? You can see from here, you know, about 40% of the indicators lack of data support. So without data, we cannot do evaluation. Without the data, we cannot do, you know, the monitoring something. So, you know, United Nations released another agenda, that means the technology facilitation mechanism. In short, we saw, we say the TFM. TFM actually have the four platforms. The first one is, you know, IATT. That means within the United Nations, about 43 organizations, including FIO, UNESCO, UNEP, UNDP, UNEP, blah, 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 as a member of this team. And also, we have the, uh, you know, ITI forum, the second, the platform. That means by using science, technology, and innovation to promote the SDG. And we have another one, online platform. Also, we have the, you know, another platform, 10 member group. You know, it's my honor in the past three years, I serve this as a, you know, group for three years. So TFM, we need some technology innovation to promote the, you know, SDG. So we have so many some technology innovations. So what kind of technology is most important? We say, you know, the video technology is so important. You can see AI, big data, Cloud computing, blockchain, IoT, robotics, et cetera, et cetera. Most important one, data. Because if we have data, we, you know, can do, you know, some very great work. Data is essential for achieving SDGs. So say digital technology, say digital and data. Today, it's our international lecture of ISDE. So don't forget that in the past more than 20 years, digital earth developed so quickly. 
Big Earth is really powerful, you know, sun technology and innovation tools. So in the past, uh, you know, 20 years, you know, we have the society, we have the conference, we have the journal, we have the working group, we have the chapter, we have the platform, we have a lot of technology. So digital earth as the great tool for, you know, promoting, for monitoring our SDGs. So it's so important how we can use that in the past several years. Uh, you know, here we established some new platform, a uh, new digital platform we call the Kessers. So Kessers, you know, the purpose for us, you know, first of all, building high level big data infrastructure, then developing a bigger data system to drive the discipline research. And also, thirdly, contracting advanced platform for design making support you can see that work what we did while doing right now so for this one uh, you know we can do a visualization for SDG data and give us design support we do that from data acquisition to data production to data visualization and data applications so it's our hardware. Actually, it's our big data, cloud storage, and uh, cloud computing, uh, you know, equipment. You can see the 50 PM story and the 10,000 feature machine, et cetera, et cetera, ability. In the meantime, we already develop a, a different kind of softwares. One of them we call Earth Data Miner. That means, uh, you know, we use this kind of miner. We can do, you know, the cloud-based online interactive data analysis in this kind of environment. So this is the environment, uh, just uh, online computing, online, you know, the analysis. In the meantime, we show, you know, collect, uh, acquire the different new data for this purpose. You know, monitoring the SDGs, we need some, uh, 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 you know, uh, the dynamic data. For this reason, uh, last year we launched into the space a new satellite. The new satellite is the name right, we call the SDG Set One. SDG Set One and the launch in the space last November, which have the three, you know, sensors, including thermal infrared and the uh, high resolution, the lighting, uh, you, uh, you know, light, and the multi-spectral, uh, you know, sensor, et cetera, et cetera. Here, give you some example. You know, here uh, in the Hong Kong night, you can see, and this is the Dubai night, very colorful, but very useful for SDG 11, SDG 11 for city and community. So far already we have total 15 PM, the data, you know, this data, you know, last about 40 years. We have different kind of data, like including biological data, ecological data, EU data, graphic data, ocean data, et cetera, et cetera. Not only for this data, but also every year about 3 PM data will be updated on the platform. This data in the future, uh, you know, welcome people around the world to share this data. So that's about Kessler's. What's, you know, Kessler's role? One of the most important role is for SDG evaluation. So I can take several examples to show you. And uh, total we select about uh, six SDGs, certain goals, because these six goals uh, you know, have the common, uh, you know, characteristics and like the large scale, like dynamic, the change. So we use the, this is the digital earth, the platform uh, can do some research. Here is SDG2, zero hunger. You know, zero by, uh, you know, analysis of the big data, uh, you know, we get some result. 
this one you can see in the 2020 about 85% of global cropland is single cropping. And the double cropping pattern many concentrated. And I expected to increase, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.23 billion tons of grain of the the grain pulp, you know, production by closing crop intensity gaps. So very useful. And this is about SDG six, clean water and uh, uh, sanitation. So by analyzing this data, we get some result. And the first one, one third of large lakes. Uh, with water clarity lower than 0.5 meter in 2021. That's a really big challenge. And also, you know, the result from 2000 to, to 2021, the water clarity in global lake, large lake had an overall increasing trend, 44% significant increase, while only 10% significant decrease. This is about uh, you know, SDG two, SDG eleven, sustainable city cities and communities. So, give some example about China. You know, China accounted for twenty eight percent of greening build up areas, with only nineteen percent of the total BUI throughout the world. And uh, China accounted for nearly half. That means forty. 7% of the world's uh, beneficiary population in greening build up areas. Next one is about uh, SDG 13, SDG 13 climate, climate action. We do some, uh, you know, analysis, give some result like the global ocean carbon sink accelerated since the uh, 2008. And also we get some result in the global territorial, uh, you know, the net ecosystem productivity showed a significant, significantly increase. And this is about uh, SDG 14, life below water. So monitoring the extent and dynamic change in mangrove forests. So recently, uh, you know, UN, uh, you know, conference, you know, just had in some places uh, talk something about uh, biodiversity, talk something about, about uh, the globally wetland. So we do analysis, uh, have some result like the Asian area, uh, you know, the about 84% uh, of the mangrove areas have continued to decrease. In African, about, uh, you know, 50, 8% of mangrove areas had increased. Also, we have some result, you know, um, say GDP growth has a great impact on mangrove than population growth. That's about SDG 14. The last one is about SDG 15, life on land. So do a lot of analysis by using uh, you know, this is the, the digital platform by analysis of the big data. Just give some results to say the global tree area increased, you know, uh, by 673 billion atom square from the 2000 to 2020. And a significant regional, you know, discrepancy exists in tree cover change showing increased trend in temperate and borrower forests and uh, heterogeneous patterns in tropical areas. So that's about, uh, you know, six uh, goals, uh, you know, monitoring and evaluation by using the uh, digital earth platform by uh, analyzing the bigger earth data. So really, we uh, did a lot of work, not only these seven goals, but uh, recently just uh, give, you know, uh, some more uh, analysis to the different kind of the, the goals. Also uh, doing some integrating analysis for different kind of the goals. So we did a lot of work. In the meantime, we, you know, have written some, uh, you know, report in the past, uh, Four years already, we released, uh, 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 you know, the, the four series of the reports. So this report already 
uh, release in United Nations General Assembly and in some um, conferences. It's really welcomed by the uh, government, you know, not only the, uh, the national government, but also, uh, you know, uh, United Nations, the decision makers really, really pay attention to this kind of report because this example not show the local, but also the regional and international global examples that we show a lot. So for this reason, uh, uh, you know, Chinese government really, you know, realized the uh, important by using the uh, digital technology, using the uh, digital uh, Earth and the big Earth data. So, uh, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, the Chinese President Xi announced uh, in, in UN General Assembly, who said, China will set up the Internet Research Center of Big Data for Sustainable Development Goals. That's a couple of years ago who gave this uh, remark. And one year later, last year, you know, we have the inauguration ceremony for this center. This center, whole name Internet Research Center of Big Data for Sustainable Development Goals, in short, C bars. C bars in the center's logo. Not only give the pay uh, attention by local government, but also you know the UN, uh, you know um, top leaders also give very, very uh, you know uh, much the pay attention to uh, this is the new center. Uh, UN Secretary General who said this, this research center will work side by side with the regional hub for big data to support the UN global platform. Together we can do more to end the poverty, protect and the planet and uh, promote the peace. And also in the meantime, three deputy uh, and other generous uh, sector general also you know, congratulate the uh, new center, but also said want to uh, do some collaboration with this center. So for CBARS, we have the mission. Uh, we should develop SDG data infrastructure. We should provide a new knowledge for SDG monitoring. We should develop a launch series of satellite. Also, we do some, uh, you know, research for think tech and uh, also capacity building uh, works. So the work, you know, pay attention to by the United Nations. What I said, the uh, United Nations have the four platform. You can see the catalyst is this, uh, uh, digital Earth platform already, uh, you know, uh, become the one of the 24 partners for UN 2030 Connect. And uh, also, what I said, uh, we launched the, uh, uh, you know, SDG satellite one. We already have released the, you know, open science program. So this is a program that means uh, somebody in the world. Uh, including the member states of the United Nations. If you like to share the data, you are welcome here at the website. Please, you know, share this data. So also we uh, just offer some global data products uh, for SDG to United Nations. So like the global, you know, surface uh, uh, meters, some, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the data products. So we can, uh, you know, provide this data, you know, every year to, to UN and let the member states share this data. So finally, I want to say, what digital earth? We say digital earth and SDG. I want to say digital, digital earth allows us to better understand our world. Digital earth can help us to understand the link complex interaction. Digital Earth can therefore be a valuable platform for decision support and policy development. So, Digital Earth is a really a powerful tool for drive SDGs. Thank you, thank you very much.